good morning children children yesterday uh, we try to understand about the natural vegetation under the uh, biosphere so there we have uh, seen depending upon the rainfall depending upon the sunshine we divided the uh, forest the natural vegetation into uh, six types so yesterday we try to understand the four of them tropical evergreen tropical deciduous and uh, temperate uh, evergreen and temperate deciduous today we shall see about the mediterranean vegetation as well as the coniferous forest this uh, mediterranean vegetation is generally found in the mediterranean region mediterranean region in the sense uh, the area which is near to the mediterranean sea coastal region in these countries you find this kind of vegetation generally the east north and uh, northeast margins of the continent are com uh, covered by the temperate uh, evergreen and deciduous uh, trees uh. the west and southwest margins uh, of the continents are different so they have mediterranean kind of vegetation what i uh, what i would like to tell you is so mediterranean trees adapt themselves to the dry summers uh, with uh, the help of their thick bark and wax coated uh, uh, leaves their leaves uh, you can find just like a wax wax you know candle candle uh, candle is made up of a wax so that wax coating will be present on those uh, leaves uh, which will help them in uh, reducing the transpiration you know what is the transpiration children have you come across with this word i told you in a i told you in a hydrosphere this is a transpiration the process through which the plants give away water vapor into the atmosphere is called as a transpiration transpiration so this wax coated leaves will not allow for the transpiration so fastly as you find in other deciduous and the evergreen forest in the mediterranean region uh, they reduce the transpiration these uh, are mostly found in the areas around the mediterranean sea in europe africa and in asia because mediterranean sea is located uh, at the center of all these uh, three continents at the interjection of these uh, three continents so on the coastal region of these uh, mediterranean sea you find this so hence because this kind of uh, thing is uh, this kind of vegetation is found near the mediterranean sea the name mediterranean vegetation has come so this kind of vegetation is also found outside the actual mediterranean region in california in usa also such kind of uh, uh, trees plants and vegetation is found and even south west africa also you find uh, and even uh, south western and south america also you find this kind of vegetation even in australia also south west part of australia also you find this vegetation so this is called as a mediterranean vegetation these regions are marked by hot dry summers the dry summer hot will be okay and wet winters will be there wet winters in the sense chilly cold winters will be there so citrus fruits such as oranges grapes figs olives are commonly cultivated here so the citrus fruits are generally cultivated here uh, people have removed the natural vegetation in order to take up agriculture and uh, there there isn't much wildlife also located in this mediterranean region and the last kind of uh, forest is a coniferous forest coniferous coniferous forest children so especially in the higher latitudes higher means away from the equator in the latitudes between 50 degrees to 70 degrees celsius in 15 degrees to 70 degrees latitudes in the northern hemisphere a spectacular coniferous forests are found these coniferous forests are also called as a taiga forests these are also called as taiga forests these forests are also seen in the higher altitudes of himalayas these uh, trees are found even in the himalayas region which are very tall uh, trees and they are uh, softwood evergreen trees these woods are very uh, useful for making pulp pulp is used in the making of paper children so the softwood trees uh, pulp is used in the making of the paper uh, which is used in the manufacturing of uh, newsprint even match boxes and packing boxes are also used are also made with the help of these uh, softwood trees and uh, the softwood trees like uh, chir pine and uh, cedar are important trees in these uh, forests the coming to the wildlife children uh, silver fox mink uh, polar uh, bear or the animals uh, which are commonly found in this region and uh, winters will be very cold here and uh, summer seasons also are also not that hot so this kind of vegetation is uh, generally called as coniferous or uh, they are also called as taiga region so in the regions where large trees are not found but uh, grass is grown are called as grasslands generally we have uh, uh, four kinds of uh, grasslands uh, found one is a tropical grassland second one is a temperate grassland third one is thorny bushes and fourth one is a tundra vegetation 
where you don't find much of the trees or plant coverage area there you find we you call it as a tundra vegetation so these are tropical grasslands uh, grow on the either side of the equator and extend up to the tropics tropic of capricorn and tropic of cancer they extend up to there so the grasses grow very tall here about 3 to 4 meters the grasses grow here and uh, these uh, grass uh, uh, for example savannas in a uh, uh, grasslands of africa where elephants and zebras giraffes also can hide in them so these kind of wildlife is also present here leopards are also found here in the tropical grasslands so the tropical grasslands of africa are called as a savannas don't forget this children this is one of the most important questions savannas these are the tropical grasslands the tropical grasslands of africa are called as savannas and second one is a temperate grasslands children in the temperate region that is in the mid latitudinal region you find this uh, arctic circle and antarctic circle in these uh, mid uh, latitudinal extent you find this uh, zones you find this uh, grasslands and usually grass here is very short not as tall as the tropical grasslands where 3 to 4 meters tall grass uh, is grown here the grass will be very short uh, but where they are very nutritious wild buffaloes bisons uh, antelopes are common in this region and uh, the these are known as steppes in eurasia that means in europe and asia the temperate grasslands are called as a uh, steppes savannas are tropical grasslands whereas steppes are the temperate grasslands they are the temperate grasslands and in eurasia you call them as uh, eurasia means europe and asia coming to the uh, coming to the thorny bushes children uh, these are found in the dry desert especially in the thar sahara desert region you find this the tropical deserts are generally located on the western margins of the continent even if you look to the india the western part you find thar desert the vegetation cover is very scarce very few plants grow because it's a dry region uh, there is no rainfall so very few vegetation you find there so because of the scorching heat and scanty uh, rainfall there is a scarcity of water very thorny bushes uh, develop there and uh, coming to the tundra vegetation in the cool region also you find uh, some kind of vegetation very little vegetation is found there so in the polar region you find it a uh, 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 place very extremely cold the growth of natural vegetation is very limited here only moss uh, lichens uh, fungi things uh, like things grow there okay generally forms on the water on the cold bodies so such kind of things uh, uh, are found there and uh, small shrubs are also found here during the uh, summer season but whereas in the winter and uh, rainy okay completely covered with the snow that doesn't allow for the growth of any big plants or uh, trees here and uh, this vegetation is uh, found uh, in the polar areas of europe asia and uh, america the animals have a thick fur the wildlife which uh, are present in this region have thick fur in order to protect them from those uh, uh, extreme cold conditions and seal walrus and uh, musk oxen and even uh, arctic owl and polar bear snow foxes are the commonly found animals in this uh, region so we have finished up the vegetation of uh, grasslands also children by this thank you